Good evening. Welcome to St. James Lutheran Church for our Wednesday Vesper service. Just a note, uh, this is a combination of Holden Evening Prayer and our uh, Evening Prayer Vesper service in our ELW Red Hymnal. It starts on page 309 if you're interested, um, and we are incorporating some moments of silence and meditation throughout the service. I invite you to rise for the service of light. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. The day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Turn us again, O God, of our salvation that the light may of your face may shine on us. May your justice shine like the sun, and may the poor be lifted up. So God, for in the beginning you called light into being, 
and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day, in a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O oh Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as it sets, the lifting of of my hands as the evening sacrifice. May our prayers come before you, O God as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen.
Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Glory in his name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles, and the judgments he has uttered. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. The covenant that he has made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac. Saying, to you I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. Egypt was glad when they departed, for dread of them had fallen upon it. They asked, and he brought quails, and gave them food from heaven in abundance. For he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. He gave them the lands of the nations, and they took possession of the wealth of the peoples. The word of the Lord.
peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. For pastors, bishops, and deacons, all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you through Christ our Lord. O oh God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Amen. 
peace of Christ be with you always. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.